It's show time. Yes, only go. 20 seconds earlier. Sometimes I pay special attention to time management. Others time I just don't pay attention to time management. This reminded me of Inzumam's uh, interview on Crick Info when uh, he was given out twice for once handling the ball uh, while the baller actually uh, aimed for the stumps. And uh, he just swayed away, was outside the uh, popping crease and uh, was given run out. He tried to convince Empire that I was actually trying to defend myself from being injured. So therefore, I just, you know, uh, got away from the line of uh, throw. Second time around against India, Srishant probably was the baller. He threw at the stumps while Inzumam, you know, just played a baller's back drive. And uh, this time, Inzumam didn't uh, uh, sway away from the line of fire. He just stopped the ball. And this was given out as handling the ball. So in a funny interview, just like I started, Inzimam said, I play, I out. I don't play, I out. I don't understand. <laughs> so that was something that just struck my mind. So I hope everybody is doing good. And I uh, assume that whatever we discussed yesterday about uh, blogging uh, was something that has excited you to Pay close attention to blogging as a career and most probably you have uh, made up your mind that you want to open your own blog and you want to write a lot about, uh, write a lot about specific niche and then uh, monetize your blog with Google AdSense and uh, take a lot of uh, uh, sponsorship, uh, sp you know, sponsorship blog post and uh, make money. In this class, we're going to discuss the importance of copywriting. And uh, what better idea to teach you copywriting than actually create a blog post, edit it, take multiple blog posts, which I've written in the past. Remember, we uh, in the yesterday's uh, class, we discussed that Google likes thick content. Google does not like thin content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take multiple uh, blog posts from Binguru, put them all together in a separate new blog post create a beautiful blog and make sure that uh, we learn three things tonight. And when I say we learn three things tonight, first is how to create a blog. Second is SEO for the blog and then how to learn copywriting when you're writing a blog post. All of this three in one package tonight, I'm going to make, you know, try that uh, we can, uh, we can uh, wrap this up in 45 minutes and then I can, take you on screen so therefore you can ask questions about copywriting but copywriting is one effective way of convincing your reader that whatever marketing or a sales attempt you are trying to do you are a perfect choice for them and this happens when a copywriting has a lot of different um, parameters included in it the basic parameters start, but not limited to, uh, and they go at length in explaining the benefits, in uh, giving an offer, in identifying a target audience, and uh, yeah, Hasan, Sheikh Sahib, aaj ek tis se tien shikar hona lene. Ready ho jaise hai. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to do this exercise right in front mm -hmm. of you guys. Absolutely. Blogging, SEO, and copywriting, right? People want precise content rather than thick content. Yeah, but if you explain about something in detail, you are giving them a content to consume and something to uh, understand about that particular topic rather than giving them a concise information that probably is too thin. That is the whole motive here. If you if you pay close attention to what I'm trying to do, if you pay very close attention 
to my screens and I'm going to share a lot of screens here. Uh, you probably are going to love it. So uh, excited for this? They auto say I. And I got called from my mother. So give me a minute. I'll, I'll be back with you. Okay, back with you. So, what is this? This is Dabbe Gandhar Dabba. Dabbe me cake. What is this? You curious fellows? Let me fix the machal first before I try to fix you guys. So what we're going to do here is uh, I won't be able to see your comments because I'm going to take you to the screens. And uh, this is a new blog post I'm about to write. And it says, what is copywriting? That's what we're going to discuss. Learn how to write sales copy. Then I identified few important keywords. And remember, I've told you how to pick the keywords based on the volume and uh, based on uh, their difficulty, right? So. Uh, yeah, be good. I just wanted to make sure the screen is uh, shared nicely because I want to show multiple tabs and uh, that can only happen if I share my whole screen here. So I identified these keywords courtesy Google Planner. And in Google Planner, I uh, searched for the keyword copywriting and then found out a few important keywords based on their uh, monthly searches, which is their volume and of course the difficulty, which is low. So all the keywords I've selected here, six of them precisely, remember 80-20 Pareto principle, all of these keywords, copyright, <laughs> copywriter, sales copy, marketing copywriter, writing copy, IDA copying, ad copywriting. I'm going to use these keywords in my content. And uh, at the same time, I have uh, put in a title which essentially covers what my blog post is about. So I'm going to cover what is copywriting and learn how to write uh, sales copy, right? How about I put it marketing and sales copy, right? That would that would be uh, just about perfect. So uh, I'm going to begin my my homework here about writing a blog post. So very first for the very first time, I'm showing you how to write a blog, how to include SEO friendly keywords and how to uh, at least give yourself a chance for rank for those SEO related keywords. And at the same time, we're going to learn the importance of copywriting for blogging. That's what I'm going to try to do in the next 30 to 45 minutes. So without any um, you know, further delay, I'm going to start right away. So writing a good sales copy is very important for copywriter as it grabs users interest good at copywriting 
and when it says people to pick up the offer and create and con contact. Right? That's about it. Question is, how to become a copywriter and write copy that sells uh, on websites, blogs, and social media, as well as email newsletter. As well as in email newsletters. Right? Now, let's see what else do we have here? What else? Okay, in fact, copyright skill continue. Yeah, I wanted to write about this. Now I'm going to show you what exactly I do when I write a blog post. So here's a website called avoid.com. What is copywriting? I'm going to pick this content and uh, rewrite it in my own words. And uh, I usually do it in the status bar and then copy it in my blog post. So uh, copy writing skills are in high demand today and copywriting jobs are one of the highest paid in paid for the freelancers as no freelancers fine. Mm -hmm. Copywriters who are good at what they do make about or around six-figure incomes and surprisingly the work hours are far less than any other job Because of their expertise, because of no, here's what I need to do here. Control X. I go back to my blog post. Control V. Because of their uh, ability to write effective sales copy and because of their ability to write an effective sales copy they are able to grab interest of their they're able to create an interest i think grab is create an interest Copywriting is used for sales, marketing, uh, social media ads, and email newsletters. So that's that's how we're going to write copy that sells on website. Now. Copywriting is used on the internet. As I'm going to repeat this again on, on the internet. Copywriting is used for sales. Okay, so that's the first part. Now I'm going to go to the most interesting part here. And let's find out what do we have here. We have this presentation and I'm going to copy it. What is copywriting? What is copywriting? Control A, Control X. Getting back to. So that's the first heading. What is copywriting? It matches with the heading, uh, you know, provided in the title. Try to understand what I'm doing here. 
I am supplying all the important keywords that are used in the uh, title as well as I, I aim to use uh, for SEO purpose. All these keywords that I have highlighted. Let me see if you guys can. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So you guys are still here. I was writing in a search bar because I wanted to copy, uh, take an idea from what this website has written. For example, if I wanted to copy this paragraph and rewrite it in my own words, because if I copy and paste it, that would be plagiarism and Google will penalize my website and I'll be blacklisted. So therefore, never ever copy someone's content. Just take an idea, rewrite it in your own words and uh, come up with a better copy. That's what copywriting is all about. So what is copywriting? So, uh, there you go. I'm going to copy all these. Copy. That's a PowerPoint I showed you in the first class, right? If you recall, what is copywriting? And I'm going to go inside my text area just to avoid any any problem here. And I'm going to paste it. Control V. Okay. And six figure has got a hyphen. Surprisingly wrong. Uh, surprisingly interest, highest paid ads and email a good to take up wow and we are good what is copywriting it's a way of engaging readers to read your sales copies what i'm going to copy here come on see It excites them towards your business offer. And converts them into potential customers, right? So that's what everybody needs to know about uh, copywriting. Your sales copy A typical sales copy focuses on let's see what does a typical sales copy focuses on? Let's find out. It focuses on an idea formula. Idea formula. Idea formula. An abbreviation of action. I saw your attention. Interest. What is the D? Decision making or whatever it is. What was that? Yeah, desire. Forgot. Desire and action. Here is how it works. What do we have for Ida? And Ida copywriting is the word here. So I'm going to copy it. That's what people search for. On Ida copywriting. Commonly known as Ida formula. Now I could put a full stop here. It is an abbreviation. Now it makes sense in action. Here's how it works. The first one is attention. Grab reader interest with an interesting headline. Right? Second is interest. 
Now, what are what I'm going to do with the first alphabets of attention, interest, desire, and action? Interest, uh, a great opening. Creating an interest about your offer. In your offer, yeah. So A, that's going to bold, italicize. I, that's going to be in bold and italicize. What do we have? Desire? Desire, desire, desire. Desire. Control, control I. Oh no, I'm using back. I actually am for that. I do not have a privilege of my Mac keyboard. Desire. Desire. Oh yeah, I wrote, I wrote about it. I forgot. Uh, create a desire in create a desire in by talking about trust. For example. Do you wish to be financially independent? Command I. You've got control. Action. Bold color signs. Create a call to action by creating, right after we create scarcity and give assurance to your potential lead. For example, 48 hours only, limited stock, By today, offer money back guarantee. Right. So I'm going to put the offer a money back guarantee. So I'm going to put the hyphen air that that essentially refers to continuity of a blog post. You probably would have observed this special character every now and then, and uh, that in a blogging to refers to continuity of a, of a content. Money back has a hyphen in there. So here we go. We got this beautiful attention, interest, desire, and action. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in numbers. And now all of a sudden, I'm not only uh, uh, giving Google a content to probably index me for copywriting, but I'm also educating my users that what is copywriting by actually doing good copywriting. At least I feel that I'm doing a good copywriting here. So what is copywriting? That's uh, what we have got here. Let's go down to the tips here. Tips for writing magnetic headlines. Copy, paste, copy, paste. So that's another headline, OK? Tips for writing magnetic headlines. What should be included? A good copywriting starts with great headline. I didn't mean to put it greater, of course. Common sense. Grammarly, common sense with a great headline. Headline is the first thing the user takes a look before reading your copy for if you are selling something, perhaps marketing a product or a service. 
pay, pay, pay close attention to these facts and you'll find out people begin to show interest in your offer and contact you. Okay. A headline. A headline. Okay. Never mind. Thank you, Grammarly. So I'm going to copy this as it is. Uh, start headline with numbers. Use five W's or whatever it is. Best picture. The problem is I'm copying from PDF file and it is pretty hard. I can tell you it is pretty hard. But I wanted to do it right in front of you, contact you. So I go to the editor mode uh, and I'm going to put in there control V one. There's still one missing here, which is about the numbers, right? I've done it so many times that I can actually remember what I'm about to talk about coming right from my heart. This is how much I've been doing this copywriting thing on different platforms. So start with numbers, rich dad, poor dad, who cares about the numbers? I can give better examples actually. For example, six ways to make money on the internet. Start with numbers. How to use how to in your how to in your heading. I hope you guys are paying very close attention to what I'm trying to do here. Because if you understand all this, you understand what copywriting is. There's nothing beyond what you're about to learn in this particular training. Um, uh, for, for, for copywriting. I mean, that's it. This is it, folks. If you understand this and pays close, close attention to... Uh, hold on for a second. Yeah. This footrest actually requires a lot of adjustment. So use how to in your heading. For example, how to make money on Nine. Okay, so third is use of mistakes and headlines, common mistakes. In the headline, maybe. Yeah, in a headline. For example, Two mistakes every internet entrepreneur makes and they are costly. Ask a question. For example, Do you want to learn digital marketing? Okay, use of punctuation and hyphen. Punctuation or never mind about the hyphen. For example, there's no need for example for this one. Use five W's in your heading. For example, who, when, what, where, and why. Right? So I'm going to put full stop for all the. Pay attention to headline length. Uh, I'm going to skip this one for now. And uh, I'm going to include this sound one. And changing it to seven. Always support your copy with a relevant picture. 
it creates better engagement, right? Always support your copy with a relevant picture. It creates better engagement. So now we have given the tips about magnetic headlines. We have uh, discussed what is copywriting. And uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, so flip features into benefits. That's something very important. So what would be the headline for this one, folks? Flip features into benefits. Uh, flip features into benefits. Maybe let's use that as it is. Who cares? Come on, A. Eh? Come X. Come back to A. You guys are still around? Yeah, still alive. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so another important highlight of a good copywriting copy is you got to convert your features into benefits. Remember our first class about this? First class, business class, last class third class okay so <laughs> convert your features into benefits uh, a good sales copy a good copywriter converts a sales copy. wow there we go a good copywriter a good copywriter so i'm using the keywords right a good copywriter converts what was that sales copy writes a copy in a way that it converts marketing into sales. A good copywriter writes a copy in a way. Now that's for Google, that's for non, that's not for humans. A good copywriter writes a copy in a way that it that the writes a copy in a way that it converts marketing into sales and sites call to action. So we have briefly touched copywriter and a copy, writes a copy in a way that it converts marketing into sales Next, it's a call to action on the ad. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll keep it generic because it's not necessarily the copywriting is all about uh, ads. You know, it could be an email newsletter, it could be a website. So, uh, a good copywriter converts a marketing. Hold on a second. There, there seems to be something wrong here. Hold on a second. Let me come up with an alternative. This doesn't like, this doesn't feel good. I, I, I kind of do not like it. A good copywriter. When, uh, when a marketing copy is converted into a sales with a call to action, that is what a good copywriting is. Writing, I mean, what if you are writing for, 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 for a website? So this has got this. It has got nothing to do with marketing or sales, right? It could be informative as well. Uh, even though eventually we are looking to create a sales. But when the marketing copy, good copywriter. Okay, so I think I've got a good copyright. Converts features into benefits.
copywriter is a keyword we have not included as of now. So we have included it. Now I'm going to go back to marketing and sales. Uh, when you convert, when you are able to flip the features and show them as benefit, benefit, you are converting a marketing effort into a, into, a, into sales. Yeah, there you go. Feels good about it. A good copywriter converts features into benefits. When you're able to flip the features and show them as a benefit, uh, you are converting a marketing effort into sales. Yeah, this makes sense, yeah. What else do we have here? iPhone did not say, okay, yeah, I got it. Copy, paste, cut, coming back to this blog post. Come on, we remember that amazing, that amazing Apple ad in the 90s. Apple on their Apple in a new iPod ad did not talk about the storage. Instead, it highlighted the benefits of buying iPod. Users will be able to store thousand plus songs and that is far bigger than any CD or a cassette could hold. I'm not going to use the word store, I'm going to use the word hold. Remember. And then it's going to be that amazing Apple ad in, 90, in the 90s. Apple in the new iPod ad didn't talk about the storage. Instead, it highlighted the benefits of buying iPod because, because users will be able to store 1,000 plus songs. And that feature alone, feature is far bigger than any CD, than feature of storage. So, as far, far bigger than any CD you could hold. Just by Flipping features into uh, just by flipping a feature into a benefit, Apple created a lot of interest in their ad for people to rush to nearby retail stores and buy iPod. Record sales. And Apple has bounced back in the market with a page back. Okay, so nearby would be one word. So that's flip features into benefit. What else do we have? Uh, I'm not going to talk about shampoo, you know, the benefits of long hair, weight loss, cut and cut how we. Another example is, okay, let's, this makes sense. Copy, cut, paste, cut. I hope you guys are enjoying this. 
another good example of great copy editing is come on Roy. selling weight loss product It copyright. It's not uh, flipping feature into a benefit is for weight loss programs. that focus on cutting fat within one week best way could be want to by asking a question want to look hot and sexy like a movie star, like your favorite movie star, favorite movie star. So now we have given enough content not only to Google but also to the user as well, and we have highlighted an important attribute of copywriting that is flipping feature into benefits. Remember, we are trying to educate people here, right? Now, there, there's, there's something more I need to add here. Hold on for a second. Grab. if I can pick all this up copywriting tips for building a better business that's going to turn a copywriting system of uh, your main goal needs to be make yeah here's what you need another copy right so I'm going to go and click at it here that's what I've specifically picked up and this post is going out so I am providing a lot of information to Google as well as to users uh, And I'm going to pick this as it is. Control X. What could be the heading here? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. A great sales copy needs a great a copywriter needs to include to be aware of these, what a copywriter needs to know when writing. Copywriter needs to know before writing a, a marketing or sales copy. That's, this makes sense, what a copywriter. Yeah, yeah, I would do this. Control V. When it comes to, and I'm gonna, you know, slash the content here, update later. When it comes to internet marketing, copywriting is definitely popular. Everyone who enters internet marketing uh, comprehends the having a strong copy. Uh, this is one skill you need at every step of your internet marketing career. Copywriting is used when creating, and then you need to learn about three powerful techniques as well. So I'm gonna, you, you're about to learn three. So I'm gonna create this as a heading instead of 
the one we have. Three powerful techniques that will help you become the best copywriter. I'm going to use this as a heading, actually. And let's see what do we have here. Control V, because we want to keep the users read or uh, continue reading our blog post. And if we can't do good copywriting, how do we even expect them to uh, read our Okay. So they can class me up shore majority. Who cares about people? If they can understand what I'm trying to do here, I have moved to trash. Bus move to trash. This blog post is going to trash. So, anyways, as WordPress throws it into a trash pan because I have copied that content and populated it into a new blog post. So the old one uh, is good for nothing and won't serve the purpose because it will be duplicate content, right? So when it comes to internet marketing, copywriting is definitely popular. Everyone who enters internet marketing one point comprehends the value of having a strong copy, strong ad copy. This is one skill you'll need to learn. Here are the three. Okay, let's find out what are the three things I need to know. In comes my tea. Conciseness. The first thing. Conciseness. Do you know what conciseness is? A summary of the whole contest. And that essentially refers to, you know, uh, putting them in a bullet point or a, or a short words. So your prospects don't have much time and all they want is to skim through the copy fast. A few side visitors might take the time to read all of your copy, but most of them will simply scan for something that jumps out at them. This is why you need to make a copy by scanning using like using bullet points and sub headlines. If somebody is going through your copy, I think it's relevant, so I'm going to delete it. They'll find easy to read the sub lines and then make your job easier once they'll be. Setting a product a little more time as a feature as well. Okay. No, this doesn't make any sense. Point or not track out your copy. It's the ability to get to the point. Always good. Uh, what is the keyword here? Good copywriter writes a copy in a way. A good copy writer focuses on writing a copy that is to the point. Because they understand that they have race against the time in such effort is productive. I'm just flipping. If you have an idea or a concept that you want to communicate, say it, tell that in the beginning of your sales letter. So what do we have for sales? 
sales copy. So it's not sales letter, it's sales copy. Right? You sales copy. It is a race beating around the bush and uh, building suspense will only work against you. Because you're primary. Right. Okay, cool. So still on conciseness, after you have constructed your primary headline, your sub headlines, commonly known as opening. opening. Needs to tell potential customers what it is that they will get from your product or service. So after the heading, you're going to talk about what are they going to get from your product and service. So uh, uh, it's in the last line, and I'm going to put a new heading here, which is actually the second point. Second point after conciseness should be uh, opening supports your heading and encourages user to read on. Encourages users to read on. Tell that at the beginning. Okay, that's fine. After you've constructed your primary headline, your sub headlines commonly known as opening needs to tell the potential buyers about what they will get from your this makes sense only after you have clearly stated what is what are you selling what are you selling are you marketing or selling you can get into the background and the benefits of no that doesn't make sense only after you have clearly stated what are what is your copy purpose? What is your business purpose? And how the users will benefit from your offer. You need to focus on On the next part, and that is giving a strong G U A R A M P. Strong I think before guarantee we need to have testimonials, no? Testimonials. We need to focus on the next part, and that is showing some success stories. Just, just thought about it as a right. I don't know how, where did this come from, but all of a sudden it just struck my mind and thought about this because without testimonial, remember that uh, example which we discussed example that we discussed in the first class about uh, uh, Marlon Sanders amazing ad that sell products like crazy we've got to show testimonials folks so uh, testimonials convince readers to by your product and service since so many people are praising 
your business. Testimonial from a known celebrity could well prove to be, I don't know, instrumental in cementing a decision on the spot. Testimony from well-known celebrity could well prove to be instrumental in cementing a decision on the spot. Yeah. Four. Build trust. It was testimony. Four should be build trust. And trust is built by guarantee. Use your sales copy. Now, what keyword sales copy? Wow. Uh, yeah, sales copies. Concise us, the opening supports your heading and encourages users to read on to learn more about your product. Learn more about it. Because not the product. Testimonials and build trust. Hang in there, folks. We are about to wrap this up. Told you this is going to be a little lengthy. Absolutely lengthy, but I'm trying to make a purpose there. Right now, if you notice the word count, about uh, uh, above, just little above 1,000. You guys are still there? Or all gone? Oh, that's nice. Still there? Hang in there. Interesting. Hey, listen. Instead of... Uh, Instead of this all crosstalk, can I know if you throw in a comment that uh, you understand what are we trying to do here? Say I. I hope whatever I'm trying to do makes perfect sense here. Okay, that's cool. Pretty good. Okay, that's nice. About to wrap this up. Okay, that's nice. So build trust. Use your sales copy to offer a strong guarantee so people on the fence will be convinced to buy. Build trust with your audience by standing whether in fact, uh, a strong guarantee. A guarantee should be italicized and yeah, that's it. When you have a long guarantee, it tends to bring down the refund rate because people end up keeping your product. By having a guarantee, you're just making them feel comfortable and okay when taking when taking when making a decision. Making a decision. The art of good copywriting. or issuing a guarantee could well serve the right purpose. That is converting a lead into a customer sales. Yeah. Converting the lead into sales. So that's fine. That's fine. So I'm going to put something in there. I've deleted this post and that's fine. It's gone now. Long gone. How about I put in Warren Buffett's secret to copywriting and making money? That's a bonus, huh? So right now we talked about two things or three things. We're going to change that into four. Uh, 
somewhere in the beginning we talked about four you know, powerful techniques four Powerful techniques that will help you become the best copywriter possible is irrelevant. I'm going to proofread it anyway. Don't worry about it. A typical blog post requires around an hour. Remember 80-20 principle. If you spend the right time in searching for the keyword and then writing a sales copy or writing a copywriting or writing a content, whatever you, uh, you know, you, you're doing, that process typically takes around an hour. Right now we are into uh, an hour. Uh, of our, of our uh, you know, efforts of effort of creating this content, and we are almost here. Support your heading a great opening. See? Now. Warren Buffett's secret to copywriting and making money. Where's Warren here? Yeah, media, ad media, media library, Warren. Picture also engages user in particular if they are reading a written copy. And of course, everybody reads a written copy, right? This word was just to see if you're still interested in knowing further about uh, copywriting. So always try to come up with the right pictures for your sales copy, for your ad copy. So here comes Warren Buffett. Let's see. So next is just copy paste. I'm going to pick that blog post. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to cut. Command A, Command X. And now we are actually we are not only gi giving uh, Google a lot of content. Take it. Uh, not only giving uh, c content to Google, but also engaging potential readers who are looking for copywriting. Look, only those who are interested in learning about copywriting because they want to pursue a career as a copywriter, perhaps they want to create a social media ad or uh, they want to create a nice email sales copy or uh, maybe maybe uh, copywriting for uh, their, their website. Only they will search for what is copywriting. So the idea is teach them with the relevant examples and what better relevant example you could give than Warren Buffett. For example, there we go. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put them in bullet points. Right. That's what effective copywriting Use few words, try to express a lot. And uh, so, my dear Warren Buffett, so long, move to trash. But before I do it, I'm going to cut this and use this as Now, for the social media part, Warren goes out, huh? Warren goes out, move to trash. Now, I'm not, I won't need this blog post. Sorry, Warren. Leave. So, we got uh, two posts combined into three, actually. One is the uh, actual one we are writing, and then two uh, that I feel should be included into this one to make it a more uh, relevant, uh, uh, you know, blog post. So we have deleted two, and I'm pretty sure I'm about to 
repeat this exercise for the one last one, one last blog post. Copy. Come on, we put copywriting. Results in better social media marketing. Okay. Thank you very much. Whatever you say. Edit. It's a lot of interesting content into one prominent blog post. Control A. X. Going back to my blog post. Command V. La 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 la. <laughs> one to one consult. That's a picture, no? It's a text actually. One to one consultation, prize, and a one year hosting free. Uh, that's what I think I was missing when I was teaching this to you guys last time. Uh, money back guarantee. Then I need to create scarcity as well. Remember, I said that it should be included, but then I forgot. Control C. Yeah. In your domain and hosting free, uh, limited time offer. 48 hours only. First come, first serve. On priority. Money back guarantee. Money back guarantee. Only if I could learn the correct spellings of guarantee, definition. Oh, good. Let's return on investment. us today send in box send in box so invest today for your better tomorrow well, that's irrelevant should not be there now we're going to the functions of using emojis and uh, okay okay fine so uh, I'm going to talk about something that would later try in tonight affiliate ad and so we just toppled over <laughs> 2000 keywords barrier so you jumped over 2364 uh, that's that's pretty nice neat emit the COVID-19 panel good ad nice copyright results in better social media marketing uh, how to was our keyword by the way how to how to create how to do ad copywriting for social media okay thank you how to add no 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 doesn't make sense hold on hold on how to write brilliant ad. Remember guys, just like with other mediums, a good ad on social media or social media with, with a nice copywriting results in better social media marketing. Remember, should remember, guys. Now, putting it all in paragraph. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Remember, guys, just like with just like in the case of other mediums 
case of other mediums. Good ad for social media, he has to be in smaller for social media. Nice copywriting results in. Now it makes perfect sense, folks. We have talked about what is a good copywriting. We talked about what is copywriting to begin with. Then we talked about uh, headlines. Uh, we talked about uh, uh, flipping features into benefits. We talked about four powerful techniques that will help you become the best copywriter. Conciseness is one thing. Support your heading with a great opening. Then there's testimonial. And then there's building trust. Build trust. Building trust. Uh, build trust is fine. Then we... Uh, you know, included a heading to. Then we just included a, a story from uh, Warren Buffett's book, uh, picked from a from a separate blog post, and write as if you're speaking to a person. Uh, this should be actually heading three, as it's still inside the Warren Buffett's bracket. So I'm going to close the close that closet with another headline that says, "How to write a brilliant social media ad." Social media ad. Yeah, this now makes sense. I felt that I'm missing something, but uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Wonderful. The book is a copy of for lead, but for once you understand the basic concept, see that it's not complicated. Uh, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to find out Control F, copywriting. 44 times, 32 times, copywriter, wealth, sales, 18, marketing. You understand what I'm trying to do? Marketing, uh, data, free, that's fine. And uh, what was last? Uh, what was the last one? Uh, yeah, add. Wow, bingo! I think I've gamed it. Now, I've done all the hard work. Need to make sure that I don't lose it. So I'm going to remove this. This was just for my information. What is copywriting? Hold on for a second. Back. How to write marketing and sales copy. Uh, I want to include these keywords in my title as well. Hold on for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Getting into tags. Sabar karo, yaar. Sabar karo. Sari mehnat ghente ki mein chaka maar ke khatam karo. Mana miya daad ki tarah. Hold on for a second. Direct response copywriting. Copywriting agency. Sales copy. Uh, okay. Okay, before I do it, copywriting master, and, uh, I'm gonna put this one in trash as well. Move to trash. Cut, 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 move to trash. So all three separate blog posts are gone now and they are included into one blog post. Just trying to make my life easier, waiting for this one to actually thrown into trash and then I'm gonna uh, close this tab here one issue at a time thank you very much off you go uh, how to advertise an ad on Facebook for better ROI, advertise and add on Facebook. Just a marketing affiliate ad. Write a social media ad. That's
come on me. And uh, that's another heading for me. Heading two. Actually, I'm going to put it in the heading three since it falls under uh, under the main heading. But uh, I'm going to live with that. Advertise that. It's still the heading three. It's a small heading. It falls inside the main heading. Heading three. Uh, of course, formatting the heading is uh, something every student knows. Whoever has created a PowerPoint at one point or another, university students for sure must have created a lot of PowerPoints. Not sure about the college or the school students that you were ever required to create a PowerPoint. But for you, university students, examples of copywriting. I can say for sure that you know how. This is it, folks. And we are good here. What is copywriting? Copy. I'm going to go all the way to the, to the, to the, to the title of this post. And I'm going to put in writing questions. Good at copyright questions. I call that sounds uh, good sounds copy. Hopefully that should be good. Copy all the way to the bottom. Paste. That's fine. Uncategorized, who cares? What is copywriting? I'm not putting in the keyword, okay? How to write sales copy? Sales ad. Social media ad. Copywriting, copywriter. That's it. That is it. What is copywriting? Learn how to write marketing and sales copy. This is it. I'm going to copy this all just to be on a safe side if something goes wrong. We need to put a picture here. So uh, video thumbnail and featured image. So upload, select files. I'm going to go all the way to my desktop. And uh, how to create backlinks. No. So it seems like I do not have something for copywriting. And this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good, yaar. Excel Janapadega. Let's see if we have something created earlier for copywriting. Now search copywriting as a keyword. Let's see if I can find something I can use without wasting time. <laughs> so we have an image. Copywriting tips for building a better business. What is copywriting? Publishism. Bite the bullet. And let's see how many people would instantly get to see this blog post, including you folks. I need to do something about the speed here. That's what my next uh, focus is going to be about. October is all about focusing hard on work chest. And October is also about uh, making sure that I remove the dates from my URLs of uh, being group blog and also ensuring that uh, the speed is optimized as well as we have a new design. Because sometimes it takes awful long for an effect to take place. Receive notification, Komal Gariya, Mil Gai. Gee. Hard work. No medicine could affect you as positively. Who cares about tag section? Tag section is not for everybody. Uh, 
the post is published, it takes time on my end, Dr. Saga. Now try to understand, nothing beats time well spent. If you've got, uh, if you've done it correctly, uh, it's sent out to 17059, wow, 17059, my goodness, there you go. All of a sudden, one click sends a blog post to 17059 and somebody asked me, sir, it takes a lot of time to create a blog post. It takes a lot of time to create a movie. All you see is two and a half hours. And if, if, it, if you're watching a Bollywood or a Lollywood movie, it's over three and a half hours sometimes. And nobody pays attention to the time it takes in creating that movie. It doesn't hit the flag of blockbuster overnight. There's a lot of effort, my, my friends. And that effort is called 80-20 Pareto principle. Spending time behind the curtains, ensuring that everything works out well is all it takes for a time uh, that is uh, nicely accounted for. And it's, it's worth it at the end of the day. Now, in this blog post, um, let me give you an example. By the way, I'll put this as an example. Uh, maybe I should show you what else I'm up to. How many forums I can instantly submit this blog post to. Maybe you guys would want to see it, right? Cut stream yard. Thank you, sir. Now, tonight, here's what we have done. Brihani Banao Sab. drama tha? ki dahi bana di so. Job well done. Proud of myself. As long as I, uh, you know, I'm able to make you brainstorm about different things. Uh, I think I've, I've, I've done justice. Uh, now try to understand. A, Google likes thick content. B, Google wants your blog post to be informative. C, a good copywriting creates an engagement. So blogging is all about copywriting as well, my friends, even though it goes at length in uh, uh, explaining, you know, a notion about uh, a specific topic. But at the end of the day, it's all about creating an interest and copywriting creates interest. It's all about using tricks and trades that could uh, hook up a user to read all the way till end. I wanted to teach you how real-time blogging is done. I wanted to teach you how search engine optimization is done by picking in the keywords that are, you know, in, in a good search volume or a moderate search volume, as well as they've got low difficulty and how to include those specific keywords in your uh, blog post. And then I wanted to talk about copywriting. Right. That is what a good copywriting is a good copywriting. Now, pay close attention. I want you to uh, go and, uh, and and watch this stream, uh, watch this link. I just want you to go through it. Open the link I've given you in the in the comment section and I'm just pasting it again. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. If you can share this on onto your social media and if you can like this video, uh, that's worth an effort. I'm well read. Mubashar, I'm well read. I read a lot. I study a lot of uh, literature. I've watched a lot of content on YouTube. <coughs> Imran, what else do you expect me to do? Take content, informative, good copywriting, and that's it. That's it. 
what else that copywriting is all about creating an interest exciting user to read on and if you are able to convince your reader or a viewer copywriting doesn't only come in in written format it doesn't only uh, you know suffices for uh, getting sales or aiming for sales or marketing on on uh, on social media or perhaps in a email marketing or perhaps uh, uh, for other medium copywriting is all about creating an engagement whatsoever the medium is if a song is good enough batao yaad hai jab dil ko churaya tha chura ke dil ko pata nahi kya kya aaya tha imran so again it's all about copywriting that rahat fateh ali song uh, if you if you watch an ad on television it's about co- copywriting one word one statement stays in our mind forever i still remember the very first ad of michael jackson in early 80s you the pepsi generation have a pepsi day the same statement was copied by imran khan's uh, ad for pepsi then it was copied by kapil ji in india then it was copied by so many people uh, in the coming years you are pepsi generation and then uh, you know uh, a different type of uh, statements uh, there that were taglines associated with different products uh, eventually it's all about uh, coming up with a content that stays in the mind of people medium could be different a medium could be a song a medium could be a television a medium could be uh, perhaps a movie uh, remember in the first class we talked about different dialogues that movie gabbar ha- that movie shole had remember remember different dialogues ye haal baal tha tam ka de de thakur kitne aadmi the and now i know everybody is going to start that's all you guys are good at just wait and watch i've just you know Uh, ignited and and a, a filmy actor inside you and all of you all of you gonna throw in the comments kitne aadmi the see there you go <laughs> bug the no bug so my my friends copywriting here's all you need to know copywriting needs to have a good heading stop commenting and pay attention to the next 5 minutes next 5 minutes a copywriting needs to have good heading a good heading needs to assist a great opening just like we have shown in this blog post then after the opening throw in the benefits and of course you can only throw in the benefits if you identify your target audience if you are selling a product to a teenager you got to identify your target audience you got to know that you are selling this to the teenagers so therefore uh, you're going to come up with uh, a content that's tailor made for them and then a good copywriting needs to be concise bulleted point so people can skim through the content rather than you know uh, being forced to uh, read the full content nobody's got a time to do it a good copywriting needs to uh, flip features into benefits we uh, you know briefly discuss the uh, about, briefly discuss the ipod example here that uh, how apple introduced ipod in uh, in late 90s then a good copywriting essentially refers to uh, you know the benefit uh, for example providing in a guarantee which uh, makes your reader users comfortable to uh, buy your product and service uh, a good copywriting also creates scarcity a scarcity means Uh, that you are actually convincing your customers to take an action before the offer is long lost then uh, spelling t- you know spelling mistakes in tags uh, they are irrelevant tags are just the keywords for google they can always be corrected doesn't make any difference uh, honestly speaking as far as i'm concerned i do not agree that meta tags even hold an importance in 2020 uh, so uh, last but not the least call to action a call to action means contact me on inbox perhaps pick up your phone and call me 
um, I'm available 24 seven and waiting for your phone call. Hey, you still have not called me. That's what copywriting is. So can you write this all down for me? Write this down for me, please. Let's see what you have learned for copywriting, because in the third class of copywriting, what I'm about to do with you for the next week, you're going to hate me. That's fine. I don't care. But at the end of the day, once I see a lot of your examples and then once you actually start <clears throat> putting your hands down and and then uh, exercising this, I think uh, most of you will get there. A call to action means Kokar Pasal. I can assure you, I'm, uh, if this doesn't teach you what is copywriting, God, I do not know what else could actually teach you. Sincerely, sincerely, sincerely. Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, I have no idea. If this doesn't, uh, you know, uh, makes you understand about the importance of copywriting for different businesses. I showed you an example of good copywriting when I was bidding on that freelance project on guru.com. We won that project. We finished that project. We, we took money from the client. A good blog post, as I have shown you today, live. I've never done this ever in my life. Live. Um, and uh, it, it took me around one, 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 one and a half hour. But I got it right at the end of the day. And I think Google might just be interested. And it would be it would be interesting to see if I get picked for business related keywords, copywriting, ad copy, and whatever it is. And I get indexed, right? Uh, because we have provided a very detailed copy uh, to educate people, uh, a, a detailed blog post to educate people about copywriting. Mm, we have used uh, copywriting for uh, Facebook ad in the very first class, training class of uh, social media. Come on, I'm looking for the points. I'm looking for the points here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Summarize it up for me, please. Summarize it up for me because I'm going to pick all this and post it in the description of the video. Even though I know what they are, of course, I've just uh, uh, summarized them to you. But I want you to do the effort. No, not this way, Arsumera. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what I, I, I want you to do. मैं जरा देखूं इमरान साहब किधर हैं चाय पीनी है यार इमरान ठीक है यार कोई भी चलेगी तू लाभ नहीं What do we have here? So I'll also get index for this keyword. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Inshallah bhi bolo saath saath. What is copywriting? Opening. Can't you guys just put all this in one uh, one comment rather than pasting separate comments? Yeah. Okay, nice, right, right, good heading, throw in the benefits, consistent, tell them the benefit, bullet points, but again, I want this to be precisely put the way I have summarized. I mean, you guys can do better, yeah. It starts with, okay. There I go again. Heading, opening, conciseness, benefits, uh, offer, guarantee, uh, call to action.
पहुंच गए वो गंबो खुश हुआ पहुंच गए can you guys just go beyond the number one heading that everybody is pasting i'm not interested in knowing one feature all i've been asking you is to put all the features of a good copywriting in one comment is that too difficult to understand i could have i could have used a harsh words but uh, to your surprise guys there are a lot of girls who actually watch me more than any youtuber actually 38 percent precisely otherwise so much for your stupidity heading 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 okay fine enough i get it heading what's beyond heading yaar thank you dr fara actually avas has got it more he's followed more closely than anybody else so it starts with good head, good heading no okay i'm going to i'm going to act like an arab arab here uh, that that uh, uh, aladdin from the theater movie good heading followed by opening then conciseness then benefits then content made for audience then should be concise then flip features into benefits call to action dekh hai maine kitne accent copy kiye hain itni badi film tha na you should stand in front of mirror and act heading opening concise is benefits for grant saima heading okay fine heading agle chalo now we know how a good copywriting is attempted right now can i ask you where can we use this copywriting and how a copywriting is used and where where it is used and how it can benefit can i have ask you in the comment section please tell me where can i use it and how can it benefit okay in a blog right and email marketing social media marketing that's nice facebook ads mm hmm blogging okay e-commerce yeah definitely for e-commerce of course you got to create a headings that could excite people and matlab mera kaam khatam ho gaya i think i have done justice to the effort i once started last monday aisha movie mein mujhe star kar lena please So for writing a blog for marketing purposes and blogging email list or sending proposals, yeah, right. Banner, yeah, of course. Banner has to show. Banner has the most limited space, so it needs to have a great statement. Uh, courtesy copywriting, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, SCR. Second time I'm highlighting your, your, your comment here. Interesting. Absolutely interesting, yeah. Thumbnails, yeah, of course. Thumbnails. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Flyers. Okay. Done. Done with all this. Now down to my favorite part. Yeah. Absolutely favorite test part test. Throw in my loveliest favorite test part test. Shoot. Comments. Tomorrow is YouTube, right? Bejo, bejo, putro. Abhi iske baad jo main karne lagu, soch hai tumhari. Bejo, 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 bejo. Jaldi karo. Love you too, folks. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. You guys are amazing. You guys are absolutely amazing. So now I want you to... identify three skill sets coming next week that you want to focus on and I want you to create three separate copywriting sales copies for assignment for those three skill sets. So for example, if you want to pursue your career as a, as a, as a, as a freelancer, and then you love blogging, and then you want to create a YouTube channel, I want you to create three separate copywriting posts. I don't care how long it is, maybe 50 words or maybe 500 words. But remember, a good copywriting doesn't, uh, it's not lengthy, actually. It's precise, as we have uh, written in the blog post as well, to the point, uh, short, uh, bulleted points, maybe. So I want you to write about what you're passionate about, three skills, and uh, put it anywhere you want. Most likely, if I were you, I would put all these uh, three statements Copyrighted, copywriting statements on my LinkedIn post. So LinkedIn, three different posts focusing on copywriting on the skill sets you are more passionate about. Absolutely, you're most passionate about right about those posts. The soundtrack of Rocky Balboa, I was just listening to it when I was uh, working out in the evening, just got stuck in my mind. Balboa. Hey, if, I, if I'm not asking too much, how about picking this blog post and pasting it on your social media profiles, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever you feel comfortable with. If you can do it, I'll be grateful. That uh, This is it for now. I'm going to come back 9.30. If not 9.30, then... Oh, tomorrow is Saturday. So Saturday is 11 p.m. YouTube. Right? Saturday is 11 p.m. Don't wait for me at 9.30. I won't be here. Saturday, the class uh, starts at 11 p.m. Is that fine? Chalo. Take care, yeah, for the office.